Hey guys, I've been considering a video like this for a while, but recently I've been getting some questions on my channel concerning the performance of this mill. I thought I'd do a short demonstration, uh, just kind of detailing what this mill is capable of, going over some different width of cuts, uh, feeds and speeds, that kind of stuff. The speed and feed information that I'm using comes from the G-Wizard calculator, and if you're not familiar with this piece of software, I highly recommend checking it out. You can find it at cnccookbook.com, and there's a link in the description. You do have to subscribe to this uh, program, and I can't remember exactly what it costs, but they have pricing information on their website, and he has pretty good deals on the software as well. And it gives you a great jumping off point for getting correct feeds and speeds for the cutter, material, and type of machining that you're doing. The reason I say jumping off point is you have to enter in the specifications of your mill for the calculator to give you accurate information. And the real limitation for this machine, I think, is the one horsepower motor. There's a two-speed gearbox in the head where you can select either high range or low range. Low range will give you a maximum of about 1100 RPM once the machine's warmed up, and high range will give you 2100 to 2200 RPM. The problem is one horsepower motor geared for 2200 RPM or 2100 RPM doesn't really give you enough torque to be able to get through a thick width of cut. And I'm going to show you some footage of that here in just a minute. I'm actually going to crash my mill a couple of times uh, proving this point. This machine prefers a narrow width of cut moving at a higher feed rate. And I'm going to, uh, I've got several clips to, to point out. A little bit about what's going on. This is a piece of one inch thick 6061 aluminum and all of the cuts will be at one inch depth of cut. I'm using a four flute Shars end mill. It's listed as being 40, M42 cobalt and it's four flute, half inch thick and it's, a, it's an okay end mill. It's not great. So don't take these feeds and speed settings as uh, you know being written in stone because a more high performance end mill is going to do a better job and certainly if you're using flood coolant or any other type of coolant you're probably going to get a lot better results than what i get but for dry machining uh with an okay end mill this is kind of what you can expect 